Give it all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash, the Bon, and the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone. And it's a seer, Shalom to the Akron that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. It's a really, um, you know, really quick video. I just, you know, ran across it, it popped up, you know, and, you know, decided to click on it, you know, watch through it. Um, you know, this, um, you know, gang related type, type deal, you know, this, uh, you know, you can watch through this video and you can just see how, how destroyed we really are as a people. Now, um, you know, and then a, a second video popped up about this same, you know, situation pretty much is all connected. And, um, the guy here shot 64 times. All right. So as a, you know, as I was watching through this entire video, the 16 minutes, and I was, as I was watching through it, it's just like. Deuteronomy 28, you know, has got to be talking about us, man. You know, I don't get how Christians, especially our people, sit up there and say that Deuteronomy 28 has nothing to do with us. We're going we're gonna to skim through Deuteronomy 28, and we're just going to focus on Deuteronomy 28 with this video. Because like I said, if you look up this video, you type it in, and you look, you look, you watch through this video... Deut Deuteronomy 28 was 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 all through my mind the entire time the entire time right so um and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go through Deuteronomy 28 okay so this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 because you got a lot of Christians that that really get annoyed with us talking about this is thought about us and it really is when you read when you actually who else would it be talking about man who else would it be talking about when you watch through this video, where do you see Edomites? Where do you see heathens going through this stuff, man? And it also shows you who the real Jews are. Right? Where do you see who the real Israelites are? Where do you see where do you see the other nations going through stuff like this, man? Right? Look at this video. Look at I might even link it, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I might even link it. You know what? Um I'm gonna I'm gonna link it and it's gonna be in the description. You watch it. And you tell me who Deuteronomy 28 is talking about, man. Because it gets under my it really kind of gets under my skin how black Christians, mainly black Christians, will sit up there and say Deuteronomy 28 has nothing to do with the, do with our curses. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay? Deuteronomy, so there's a book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. It says, But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments and all his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee. And then when you read on down, look at all these curses. We're going to jump down to verse 20. It says, the Lord, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse tw uh, 20. It says, the Lord shall send thee, uh, Salaki, the Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke. Look at this video that I'm getting ready to link in the description. And you tell me who, what, this talk, what this is talking about. Watch through it. <laughs> Just watch it. And it'll tell you. Right? This is, um, and all that, that thou settest thine hand, uh, unto for to, for to do right until thou be destroyed. You see that it says until thou perish quickly, it says, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me again, watch the video and then come back and then go back and read Deuteronomy 28. It'll show you, it'll show you verse 25. It says, um, the Lord shall curse thee to be smitten before thine enemies. See, all this stuff is going around on social media and all our enemies are sitting back watching, watching, laughing at us, man, because, because we, we sinned against the Lord. So now what? We going, we doing stuff like in this video, right? We doing stuff like in this video. You, you know, damn well that all these jakes in this video is not going to treat an Edomite the way they was treating each other in this one, man. You already know they're not right or a heathen because a lot of those, that's why a lot of those heathens they're not worried about going in the hood opening up stores because they know they're going to make money and not get touched that shows you who the who the cur who the curse is applying to right as a as a so-called black person you ain't going to want to open up a store in the hood because you know it's going to be robbed within the first first 48 minutes <laughs> right you already know that okay it says, um, 
It says, thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. Do you see that? It says, and thou shalt be removed unto all the kingdoms of the earth. That's that's got to be taught about Israelites. I mean, <laughs> that's a very self-explanatory. Verse 20, uh, verse 28. It says, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Again, I'm just I'm just I'm just skimming through this a little bit. Verse 32. Watch this. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What what is another way of them saying is being, you know, telling us we're being given away to another people? These other gods, these other philosophies. Do you see this? This is not the way in this video. That's not the way. That's not an Israelite behavior. OK, that's not that's not Israelite behavior. That's the ways of the heathen, right? Um, well, let's see here. It says, and not I shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no no might in thine hand. We got no power. We literally have no power, right? You know what I'm saying? That again, that's why the heathen they could come over here and not be worried about where they open up shop at, because no matter where they go, they're not gonna be touched, and they know it, unless it's by Edomites. By us, they ain't going to be touched. <laughs> they not going to be touched. Esau allows them to come over and make money off of us. Right? We don't have power. We are so-called uh, Americans. And we, are, we are legal American citizens, right? We are legal American citizens. Hell, they even call us African American. Right? They, they That's what they call us. Right? So how the hell are we called American, but... You, you got a person that's called, you know, that's Chinese running over here, open up shop. They got power, but we don't. But we're Americans. <laughs> we, we're Americans. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Again, I could go on and on and on about how Deuteronomy 20 is most definitely talked about us, man. It's really simple. It's not hard. It's really simple. Okay. Verse 37. It says, and watch the, oh boy. It says, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee, right? I remember I was watching this video, um, and Jake's would get mad, but, you know, a lot of you black, so-called black people would get mad about it, but it's true. You know, I was watching uh, this video about, uh, you know, the bait cars and stuff like that, which we know some of that stuff is set up, but, you know, how they how they leave the doors open and the, and the and the you know guys get in there and they start driving off and then who you see mainly doing it Jake. So we looked at it as a proverb and it's a, you know a byword and an astonishment among all nations, right? When you look at this, right? When you look at <clears throat> videos like this and what what these Jakes are doing, you know, on the comments of that of that video I said earlier, they said well, it's, you see it's only black people. This is this is the this is the state of black people. And other black people would get mad about it, but it's true. It's absolutely true. But why are they like that? It's because of you, Esau. So <laughs> yeah, don't you 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 know you're not getting away with that, man. You know, you through the spirit of the Lord have have destroyed us, right? And now we we are degraded to a state like this and Esau doesn't have to pay for that right Esau doesn't have to pay for that right so that's how we looked at among all the people because of because of our behavior look at look at the things we do okay I believe it's the last one I got marked here yeah it's the last one well what was that That's a good one. We won't read. We won't read verse forty-five first. Uh, it says, "More of all these curses shall come upon thee, right, and pursue thee." It's the like More of all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee. Okay, it says, "Till thou be destroyed." Curses, all these curses. We are under a serious curse, man. We are under a serious curse. The the worst people on the planet. Or uh, you could tell who was under the curse. You could tell who was an Israelite when they looked at as the worst creatures on the planet. See, right now, those um small hats, as as we call them, you know who I'm talking about. Those faking small hats. Everybody looks at them like they're the people of God. Well, I got news for you: the people of God in the land of their captivity, 
right? They're not going to be looked at as the people of God. They're going to be looked at as pieces of garbage. They're going to be looked at as a proverb and astonishment and a byword. Those faking small hats, they're not looked at like that. They're looked, again, they're looked at as the people of God. The people of God are not going to be looked at as the people of God because they are fallen. They're under a curse. You don't see all the other nations calling them an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. You see them calling us that. Right? You see them calling us that. You know what I'm saying? Who went through the hanging, the lynching, the, tor and the, and, and the, and the torture? We did. Right? We did. I'm talking about on a, on a high scale level. I ain't talking about... See, everybody keeps talking about everybody was in slavery and once upon a time. Slavery. Not being tortured. See, if if slavery has something to do with whipping, lynching, castration, and, and, and so many more, I'm not going to mention, because that's just touching the surface. The things that they have done to us is unspeak is ridiculous as absolutely ridiculous right but when it when it comes to you know if if, if slavery implements whipping castration hanging lynching and whatever else that's no longer slavery that's torture and it's genocide right so i'm not understanding where god loves all when he didn't put all nations through the torture. That alone should tell you that God does not love all because he didn't put these other nations through that torture that we did that we that he put us through. And the Lord and the scriptures say the Lord chastened who he loves. Where in the world do you see those those faking small hats going through stuff like this, man? Watch this video, man. I am going to link it. Watch it. Where in the world do you see the small hats going through stuff like this? Where do you see the Moabites going? Oh, I'm just, let's forget about the small hats for a second. Where do you see the, the average Edomite going through like th going through stuff like this on a high scale level? Where do you see the Moabite, the so called Asians, going through stuff like this, man? Right? Where do you see the Hamites even? Oh yeah, they so called black, right? How come they not going through stuff like this? They oh they coming over here getting getting doc you know being doctors and stuff like to being therapists and stuff like that, right? That should tell you that they not our people. Those Africans, those Hamites, why are they not going through this stuff, man? You don't see them blowing each other away, right? You don't see them making making diss tracks on each other and posting stuff all over all over the internet talking about yeah I wrote I caught them lacking and stuff like that. You don't see that. Right? You you don't see that. Who what do you see the Ishmaelites going through? The Elamites. What do you see all of these nations going through stuff like this, man? No. It's our people. So he loves all, but he's he chose a specific people <laughs> to to torture, to play with. You see, you see what I'm saying? That just doesn't make any sense, man. Right? So it says, because thou hearkenest, this continuing here, okay, it says, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. Okay, now we're going to go to the last one, which I believe I'm marked up, yep, verse 61. It says, also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord, um, Oh, you see that? I just caught something. It says, also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. So, there won't be things. Oh, one second. One second. I believe it's in here, but I don't want to waste time looking for it. It's a, this is kind of a long chapter. Um. One second. If you, if you see what I'm typing, you know exactly where I'm going at. Uh, yeah, here we go. Um, 
So it's verse 56, 54. 54. Let's go back. It was in verse 54. We're going to come back to this. Say verse 54. Um, yeah, because this is, this is a good one. It just, it just clicked. You know, because earlier I was talking about where do, you, where do you see the other nations going through stuff like this? Well, here we go. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. It says, so that the man that is tender uh, among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. I'm, again, for the hundredth time, I am going to link this video in the description. Read this right here. So that that so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat because he have nothing left him in the siege. Right. It says and in this straightness wherewith. Thine enemies shall distress thee in thy gates. Watch this. The tender and delicate woman among you, which shall not, which shall, uh, would not venture to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter and toward her young that cometh out from between her feet. Right? And toward her children, which she shall bear, for she shall be, uh, for she shall eat them, for for want of all things secret, secretly in the siege of of uh in the straight so like it in the siege and straightness, wherewith thine enemy, um, shall distress thee in thy gates. Now, when you read these three scriptures, or yeah, when you read these four, again. On a 1,000th time, I'm going to link this video, right? I cannot, we cannot tell you how accurate this is, man. Can't tell you how accurate this is. For all you, you know, a lot of Christians, I, I really believe that a lot of Christians that talk about Deuteronomy 28 really haven't read Deuteronomy 28. You know what I'm saying? To the to the full, you know, you didn't read, you didn't read the full thing. I really don't believe you did. You know, a lot of a lot of Christians that say Deuteronomy 20 is not talking about us. How accurate is this? Right? What I everything I just now read, how accurate is that, man? That's crazy. That's crazy. Now we're gonna go back down to Deuteronomy 20 61. It says, also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the in the book of this law. So there are gonna be things that's gonna happen to us. That's not specifically written, but it's still it's still written. All right. It's in there. You can you can equate it to whatever sickness, like everything that's happening to us right now, even though it's, some things may not specifically say that, that that's in there. You can still you can still say it is in there because you're going to find because there are certain things that kind of sum everything all up, which is all part of it. Right. So it's in there. It's, you can say it's not in there. But it's in there. <laughs> so it's going to be some things that you, you're not even going to see in this book. That's going to happen. That's how serious the Lord is, man. That's how serious the Lord, how about Shemi is. Ain't no joke, man. Ain't no joke. It says, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. So anyway. Yeah, that's all I got. really got on this video. Um, it was still well, it kept at a reasonable time. Yep. So. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got on this, man. Like I said, I'm going to link this video. And you watch for yourself, man, who Deuteronomy 28 is talking about. <laughs> Shalom.